Yo, we gotta talk about a lot of things. Alright. A lot of people's been hitting me up. Yo, you've given up. Yo, why haven't you uploaded? Alright. I have a lot of things to talk about. Like, I have a lot of, like, pinpoints that I need to address. First, I haven't been uploading because, like, everybody in life, we all go through our things. We have personal life issues we have to deal with. Um, I just... All in all, I just haven't been happy. Um... I've been really sick lately. I've been, you know, dealing with this fever that I just got over. I just been dealing with so much things all at once, and it was a little overwhelming. Um, first big thing that I was dealing with was the job that I was in. I wasn't happy. Um, let me get into that. You know, I don't want to talk bad about the job because you know a job is a job regardless of anything, and it's gonna pay your bills. But the job I was in, it was just. The only job that I could get at that very moment like I, I was just rushing to get a job because I ended up leaving the previous job that I was in and I, would, I was just like yo I need to get a job that was the first job that called me hired me on the spot so I was like you know what whatever I'm gonna just stick it through you know I'm a, a big believer of trying new things and um, I just really didn't care it was an overnight position at a big company and the pay was good, you know, it was something kind of different because honestly, I'm used to weekly jobs. Um, this job paid bi-weekly, so it was definitely a transition of me not knowing what the hell I was getting myself into. Um, I was there for, I believe, two months. The job was all right. Um, I just couldn't, I couldn't do the whole sleeping schedule. Like, I'm a young kid, you know, the, when I was working overnights with older people meaning like in their late 30s early 50s like it was that big of a tr like that big of a space of age so i wasn't i felt like i didn't fit in i felt like yo i'm the youngest kid here i got my whole life ahead of me am i really gonna be like you know what fuck my life and just be in this job 24 7 and i had a lot of thinking to do a lot of saving to do and honestly i had to make the decision of being like, you know, this is not what I want to do. This is not my career. And I ended up leaving. So when I left, I was trying to get my sleeping schedule back on point because my shifts were midnight to eight in the morning. Sometimes I would leave at nine in the morning to come home, to sleep maybe a few hours, then to wake up and then to have to do the same thing again. So I technically didn't have a life. The job wasn't hard. It was kind of far from my house. And that traveling, especially in the winter time, was very, very hard for me because honestly, I don't do public transportation, so I would have to take Ubers back and forth. And sometimes my Uber would just not pick me up. They would cancel at the last minute. It was just very, it was a big hassle for me to get to work every single day. Like I said, the job wasn't hard and I'm not gonna sit here and bash on the job at all, but I'm definitely gonna say the people that worked with me, the people that were at my shift every single day, didn't make it any you know better for me. Um, We've had people that were there for more than five years that feel like they know everything. Mind you, we have the same color t-shirt on because regular employees had the regular shirts. Supervisors had a different color shirt. Store manager, it was just one of those jobs. And I felt very belittled. I felt very like, oh, I'm doing everything wrong. Mind you, I was doing everything right. My role wasn't really that big in the job. Um, it just made me feel very uncomfortable every time I went into work. For the most part, it was cool. Everybody was cool. But the job title itself, it, it just wasn't worth, you know, the hours I was putting in. It wasn't worth me losing some sleep or me losing my life in general. Because doing overnights, you lose your life. You have to sleep during the day then to wake up and be up all night. And it was an everyday thing. And I, I just wasn't used to it. So I ended up leaving. And I felt like it was the best decision that I could have ever, wow. It was the best decision I could ever make. Um, I finally got back on track on sleeping, just being happy, you know, resting. Because I haven't felt the the feel of rest in such a long time. Because dealing with my insomnia as well, 
I don't sleep, I don't rest. You know, I take power naps and that's not enough. And I, I feel like I was killing myself. I was harming myself. Um, and it was just, in, it, it wasn't the way to go about anything. So I left the job and I just started, you know, fixing up my room, deciding to, you know, really focus on myself for the first time and really focus on, you know, okay, this is my plan and this is what I want to do. But within that time, I was really thinking about my living environment, my living space. I pretty much lived my whole life in New York. Um, this is my house, this is my home. I love New York with my heart. Like this will always be my home. But I started to think about like, do I really want to stay here? At this point, my birthday is coming up and I'm not getting any younger, you know. I just feel like New York isn't for me. And I say it with the most respect and the most humbleness that I could ever say, New York is not for me. I have so many goals and so many plans to do in life that I feel like I can't do here. I don't have, you know, the space to do so. I don't have the space to really think and, and motivate myself to do. You know, I have a lot of plans that I want to do with this channel, with my life in general, that I feel like I'm always in a closed box, in a closed area. And if I go outside, I can't do much because there's not really much to do. And a lot of people are so judgmental. And this is another reason why um, I had to, like, take a little step back off of YouTube and just really, like, think. Um, a lot of people would see me in the streets and they would give me looks like, yo, why is he recording himself? Why is he doing this? And I've always said, don't really care about what other people think, but that can go but so far. You know, if you hear it a hundred times, obviously it's gonna hurt. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna mess with you. And I decided to, you know, take a little break to really think like, yo, is this really what I wanna do? You know, making videos and making movies is not for everybody, but I decided that I don't care. Like, I'm that type of person. I just don't care what people think of me. I don't care what people say of me. People are going to talk. People are going to say things that, you know, they just want to put you down. But at the end of the day, they can't put you down unless you let them put you down. So with that being said, am I going to continue doing YouTube? Of course. Hell yeah. This ain't, that, that's, nothing's going to stop me from doing what I want to do. It went so far that I decided to finally, finally get my camera of my dreams. I didn't start off. Well, I did start off on my phone. Since I began my YouTube, this has been my camera, this has been my editing software, this has been everything that I put in so much content here that I have no space. So I felt like I had to, you know, get the camera in my dreams, but it shows my dedication, it shows my, my willingness. And like I said, I have so many plans for this channel and so many plans in general in life that I personally felt like New York isn't really for me. So, in the near future, you would not see me in this setup anymore. I'm not saying now, I'm not saying in a month, I'm not saying anytime soon, but soon. I won't be over here anymore. I'll be moving to another state, um, another state that I'm very familiar with, Pennsylvania. I pretty much have my family over there. You know, my brother that I'm very close with, He's willing to, you know, show me the way over there. He's willing to, like, put me back on track. And he's willing to push me to become the person that I want to become. I'm not saying that I'm going to live in PA all my life. That's never going to happen. I definitely want to go to try something new. And I definitely want to go to experience something different. You know, New York, I've been here pretty much all my life. Now it's time for me to try to try something different. You know, Pennsylvania has a lot of more freedom, a lot of more space to think a lot of more getting in tune with yourself. New York is all about you spending money, you know, you're, you're pretty much spending your entire, you know, savings, checks, just to live over here. Over there, it's, it's completely different, you know. You have to save money, you have to think smart about certain things because a lot of things are not tolerated over there that's tolerated over here. But I'm not going to get into that. This is just a thought of my life and what I want to do. And I feel like making that step to go to Pennsylvania would be like the best thing that I can do. Um, just starting fresh, you know, a different environment, you know, a different job for now until this really, really like 
pops off, I'll have a job. Hopefully this will become my job. Hopefully this will be, you know, the right thing to do. Hopefully, you know, going to PA would be that little push I needed. I find it funny how a lot of people, you know, hit me up and say like, yo, you've given up. You've, you've, you've given up. You always make excuses. You always do this, that, and the third, but put yourself in my shoes. Record all your, your videos on your phone. Record everything and edit it on your phone. It's not easy. Life isn't... Listen, if you ever want to be a photographer, a video maker, whatever the case, whatever, whatever you want to do, fashion, forensics, anything you want to do, nothing is easy. Nothing is ever going to be easy. You're going to put blood, sweat, and tears into everything you're going to do in life. So I learned that the hard way. I was given everything, you know. I didn't know what I didn't know what it was to really bust your ass until I was 15 years old. And many many years later I'm here now and I'm I'm saying, "Yo, life is not easy." But I'm the type that I crawl and claw and and get up and dust myself off and continue going. Ain't nobody going to push me down. Nobody's going to sit here and tell me, "Yo, you can't do this or you can't do that." Nobody's going to put no no gates and barbed wires to try to block me out. I'm gonna continue striving, I'm gonna continue prospering. And that's always that's always been my mentality. And anything I wanna do, if it was baseball, if it was MMA, if it was whatever the case may be, fashion, and now YouTube. I have so many plans and so many ideas that I wanna do, and now I have the gateway to do it. I finally got the camera of my dreams. I finally said, you know what? I have to leave New York. I have to leave this environment. This environment is amazing, but I have to leave. To really want to do what I want to do, I have to leave. And that's where pretty much my mindset is at. Um, I haven't really been uploading because when I left the job, I ended up getting very, very, very sick. I ended up getting the worst flu, the worst fever I've ever encountered. And it was to the point where I couldn't get out of bed for at least four to five days. And I was stressed. I was really, really stressed. But I'm just uploading this video to just to let y'all know like what's been going on, what's on my mind. A lot of people's been hitting me up on the topic of my sweaters. Yo, January 11th is legit less than two weeks away. Well, it's more than two weeks away, but you know, like it's getting close. So if you're really, really interested, just hit me up on my DMs on Instagram. Majority of the people that watch this already have me on Instagram. So just let me know what y'all think and what y'all want. And let me know like what sizes, what colors y'all want. We'll get into that. I kind of like to end videos with this. The support y'all been giving me is crazy. Crazy. I, I don't feel forced to post. Like, I get mad when I don't post because I feel like I'm letting you guys down, but when I post on Instagram, like, oh, new video coming soon, I've just been busy or I've been sick, the feedback that I've been getting, like, on my DMs, like, yo, just do what you have to do, I support your videos, keep on, like, I have a few people that, you know, hit me up on daily, like, yo, I love your videos, and it's just very, very, like, surreal. I've only been doing YouTube since pretty much September. So I just want to say like thank you to everybody that's been supporting me, everybody that's been showing me love and really sticking it out and being patient with me. I'm just one person, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much doing this all on my own. I'm up in the ante on my videos. I got the camera of my dreams. I got some, I got some lights in mind to get, you know, for my videos. You know, I got some LED lights right here. It's kind of fire that you could change with the, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, before I leave, before I leave, lit. Hold on. Oh yeah, we're gonna leave it blue real quick. Now that's mad dark. But anyways, I just really know what I wanna do and I'm gonna do exactly what I wanna do. You know, to end the video, thank you everybody that's been supporting me. Thank you for riding with me and being patient and a lot to come, a lot, a lot, a lot to come.